everybody, it's Christy Morgan, the Blissful Chef. November's cooking tool of the month is the casserole dish. I've been using this three-quart casserole dish from Anilon, which I absolutely love. It's hard anodized with a non-stick, non-toxic coating on the inside, and then copper laid in the bottom that makes the heat distribute very evenly. So it's so much fun to use. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful as well. But what's awesome about it is it goes straight from the stove to the oven, and then you can serve it right in the casserole dish. So it's going to be your perfect casserole container for all of your Thanksgiving side dishes. Today we're going to make my favorite Thanksgiving side dish, a sweet potato casserole that has a maple coconut pecan topping instead of marshmallows. So it's super healthy, but so delicious. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is chop our sweet potatoes, and they can be uh, any size really, but ideally you want them to be about the same size. I got these organic, so I didn't peel them. I just cut off any sort of woody looking parts or parts that are kind of icky. And then what I'm going to do is cut them in about a one inch slice. So add them to the pot with enough water to cover. And then I'd like to add a pinch of salt. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then we'll simmer until they're just tender. For inside the casserole to season it and make it very festive and delicious, we're going to add a orange zest, orange juice, cinnamon, sweet maple mixture. And what I like to do is I'm going to zest this orange with my microplane zester. This is a great tool. I love it so much. So what you're going to do is you're going to brush it along the zester, but you want to make sure that you do not see any white part because that's bitter. So just get the outside. So after we zest this, then we're going to juice it. You want about three tablespoons of orange juice, and then we're going to whisk in two tablespoons of arrowroot, which is a starch, and that's going to help thicken our casserole. So we're going to whisk that together, and then we're going to add about one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cinnamon, then we're going to do about one-fourth to half a cup of maple syrup, and then we're going to add barley malt. <coughs> barley malt is a wonderful sweetener. It's very thick and similar to molasses, but it's made from barley and it has a low glycemic index. So I really like using this, but if you're gluten-free, then feel free to use molasses if that's what you have available. A good trick to making sure that this sticky sweetener doesn't stick to your measuring spoon or measuring cup is to lightly oil it first. And then when you put it in, it's just going to slip right out of the measuring cup. So we'll whisk all of this together. So our sweet potatoes are probably done now. I'm going to check on them with the fork, make sure they're soft and tender. Then we're going to drain them and mash them with a potato masher until nice and smooth. After you've mashed your sweet potatoes, you're going to add this liquid. For the topping, you're going to use about one cup of pecans, which I like to roughly chop. And then we'll mix that with about one-fourth cup of shredded coconut. Get the unsweetened kind, which I got in the bulk bins, which saves money. And then we're going to add more maple syrup, about, one, about half a cup probably. We're going to stir that all together, and then we're going to add it on top of the sweet potatoes and smooth it over the top. Make sure you use a spatula to get all of the goodies out of the bowl. So our casserole is ready. We've baked it for about 30 minutes. It smells amazing. Let's give it a try. This is so delicious. Your whole family is going to love it. The orange zest adds this really nice flavor. The pecans adds this nice crunch. 
it's a really great healthy alternative to a traditional sweet potato casserole that has the marshmallows on top. But you can get vegan marshmallows if you want to try it that way. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. I hope that you'll make this casserole for your Thanksgiving next week and I'm sure everybody will love it. Definitely check out analog.com for a beautiful array of different kinds of pots and pans. And as always, have a blissful day and have a wonderful holiday. Mm -hmm.